everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing my Bath & Body Works empties. This is going to be for the last two months. I'm not going to go in any particular order. Um, I am going to go kind of quickly because I actually have to get ready for work. Um, yes, I do have quite a bit of stuff. Um, and I have to move today, so I did not want to continue to hold anything. I know this is my cat is here. Yes, we've already had this problem in multiple videos. Anyways, um, um, I'm just going to get started. So, the very first item I have, this is a pumpkin pie three-wick candle. This is one of my all-time favorite candles. It smells so, like, authentic and really, like, a real pumpkin pie. Um, I know I could probably get one more burn of it. Um, I'm sure I could, actually. But since I'm moving today, I think I'm just going to be done with it. Um, it was a really, really good candle. It's, um, super strong. Smells delicious. Good, clean burn. It's one of my all-time favorites, actually. I do have one more, so I'm excited about that. I would definitely repurchase that one. Next up, this is a marshmallow fireside candle. Um, again, same thing. Uh, I think it could also use one more burn, but since I'm moving today, I'm just going to be done with it. Um, don't mind that it looks like really like ugly in here. It's because I put glitter in it and it was like obviously like way too much. Um, I was also trying to use that up because I don't want to be bringing anything with me. Marshmallow Fireside is a good scent. It's just like a nice like smoky, um, yet sweet scent. I would definitely repurchase this as well. It was good, strong, no issues with the burn either. Um... Next up, this is going to be banana cream pie candle. I actually liked this candle a lot more burning than I did on cold. Um, and I know, like, I, like, uh, watched reviews about it. People said it wasn't very good. And, um, read the reviews online. It's not very strong. You definitely have to, like, put it, like, into a bedroom. Um, at least in my opinion. But the burn itself, like, wasn't bad. And I really liked the scent while burning. It was, like, did get, like, sooty, um... But that's not, like, a huge, huge issue for me. Um, so I would definitely, it didn't have, like, puny wicks or anything like that. I would rebuy it. Um, I like the scent overall. It's probably my second favorite banana scent besides for the banana nutmeg pudding, like, the bread one. That, like, it was one of their first banana scents to come out. Um, besides that one, this is now actually my favorite one. I think the packaging is cute as well. Um, so I, I would rebuy that one. Next up, my cat is trying to come back. Next up, I have, this is going to be the Perfect Autumn three-wick candle. This is a good one. It reminds me of Thanksgiving. It's just like a sweet cranberry scent. Um, it's definitely my favorite cranberry scent out of like all of the other ones. Get in. Um, sorry. Um, over like cranberry woods or frosted cranberry. I feel like it's like the best blend in my opinion. The packaging is really pretty. They did put like a nice gold, uh, silver like top with the leaf on it, which is really nice. It was a good, um, fairly strong burn. No issues. It burned all the way down. Um, nice clean burn as well. I don't know if I would repurchase it. I'm not like usually like a huge cranberry person. I have to get in the mood for it. So um, probably like halfway through, I remember like kind of forcing myself to get through it. So it's not one of my favorite scents, but then sometimes I crave it. So I'm not sure if I would repurchase. This is going to be the pumpkin clove. It's from the same collection. This <laughs> this one I liked a lot. Um, again, no no issues with the burn. Um, good clean burn. So no problems there. I would really buy this. This one everyone is saying is the similar to the sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which I would agree it is, but in my opinion, it's the better version. Um, I would buy either of them. Lately, I've been craving sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which I never used to like it in the past, but I would definitely recommend this one, and I would definitely rebuy really it as well. Next up, this is going to be the Desert Wildflower Candle. I like this one a lot, again, um, as well. I, I feel like this one did not get, like, good reviews or just good hype around it, I guess. Um, I think the packaging is nice, too. I like this, like, greenish color of the wax and the, the lid as well. Um, this one, it's going to sound like maybe, like, a strange description. It says it has pink lady apples, white jasmine, and fresh violet. It smells like, like a watered-down apple. Like an apple sitting in water somehow it's very fresh though and very unique and for some strange reason i like chose to burn this in the fall like to break up um all of my like 
pumpkin candles and I was like craving something else. It's actually pretty strong um, just for like being like in, I have a two bedroom apartment just for being, you know, I don't know. It does not smell like it's going to be that strong on cold. Um, I really like it though. I would actually definitely repurchase. Again, I had no issues with the burn. Um, not really any sitting or anything like that. So this is a candle I would recommend and I would repurchase as well. I don't know if it's a repackaged. It kind of smells like something that I smelled before, but I'm not sure. Next up I have, this is pumpkin peanut brittle. Um, candle. This is a, a classic. Everyone knows what this one smells like. It was um, it was strong. I do remember this one though having puny wicks um, and I would have to um, cotton ball it which is kind of annoying. I have a lot of these left so I would rebuy it. It's extremely strong um, but you know again like you have to be in the mood for it. It's like I think definitely I'm like over it for at least this year. Um, but I would definitely rebuy it, the cute lid as well. It didn't really have any issues besides the puny wicks, which is, is annoying, but if it like, you know, fixes itself, then it's dealable with. So yes. So, next up I have, this is a creamy nutmeg candle. Um, I feel like this one's like a favorite of a lot of people. I like how this is collecting dust because it's been sitting in the bag for a long time. I feel like this is a lot of people's favorite. Um, I used to really like it, but then I thought it was just okay. It didn't have any problems burning though. I'm not sure why that's like slightly discolored. I mean, I know I put glitter in it, but I'm not sure. It really didn't have any problems though burning. It was a fine burn. Um, it was strong, um, but it wasn't like overly strong. It like just sent it up like um, my house nicely enough. Um, this is like an older packaging too. Sorry, <laughs> I can't just throw him on the ground because I know he's going to come right back. Um, anyway, so I don't know if I would rebuy this one. I feel like I'm like over it right now and I don't really know if I'm like would ever be in the mood for it again, but overall it was a nice scent. Yes, yes. Next up, this is a peppermint brownie. Um, this is also, I actually found this at SAS, um, in January for 75% off. This was not a good burning candle though. It had puny wicks, um, pretty much the entire time. I actually like so bad that like I thought about like, um, exchanging it. But then by the time, like, I don't know, like I got around to it, I felt like it was already like more than halfway gone. And I don't really like to do that when they're already so low, even if it was not a good burner. Um, it wasn't like sooty or anything like that. So besides that, it was fine. Um, I think I would definitely rebuy it if like I could get it to perform better. But for this particular one, no, I would not even for 75% off because I couldn't really smell it because the wicks were like so puny. And even when I would cotton ball them, they never really like fixed itself completely. Next up, this is going to be the warm apple pie candle. Um, I used to really love this one. I know it's really popular. I don't know if I'm just like over the scent now, but this one too, like I kind of had to like force myself to burn it towards the end, um, which is weird because I used to really love this one. I think the packaging is really cute, cute lid. Um, it wasn't like a bad burner. It was definitely not strong enough for like um, my apartment. I definitely had to like put it in a bedroom just to be able to get to smell it, but it wasn't like, um, a bad burn in itself. Like the wicks were fine and not, um, just a little bit of soot, but that, again, that doesn't really bother me. Um, I don't think I would rebuy really this one. I feel like I'm like now over it. And it was also, um, the strength was really not good in my opinion. So I would not repurchase that one. Next, this is the Eucalyptus Mint Candle. I've said it before, this is one of my all-time favorite scents, just a really clean, fresh scent. Eucalyptus Mint always performs good for me, although this one, um, this one was a little sooty, but again, that does not bother me. Um, it burned all the way down to the bottom, nothing wrong with the wicks. I would definitely rebuy this one. So, yes. Next up, and this is my very last candle. This is a vanilla bean candle. This one I like a lot as well. But this one was not a good performer. It was very sooty. Um, the wicks ended up um, being puny and I had to fix them. Although when I fixed them, then it burned okay. But it was not very strong. And I, I feel like I remember vanilla bean being stronger in years past. Um, so I don't know. I really like the scent. I think I would buy it again. But there's other scents with vanilla in it. 
that I think I might purchase instead if they're stronger. Like, I think Cinnamon Spice Vanilla is stronger. So, while I like this one, I don't know if I would already purchase it because I want the candle to fill up my entire apartment, not just a bedroom. So, I'm not sure if I would repurchase that one. Next up, this is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Pyramid Body Lotion. This one, again, is, you know, uh, a favorite of mine. Um, it's just a really good scent, really clean and fresh. I like the aromatherapy, the ones that come in the pump. Um, you know, nice and convenient. I think the bottles look really nice too. It is annoying that you can't get out like the very last in the bottle, the remainder. But again, I would still purchase this. Um, next up, this is a marshmallow pumpkin latte foaming hand soap. I always, this is packaging from a couple years ago. I always really want to like the scent because there's no notes in it that wouldn't make me not like it. But then every year I buy it, there's something off about it that I don't like. So overall, I would not... Um, purchase this again for me but I know it's really popular I'm not sure what the note is either that's in it that makes me not like it it says it has creamy pumpkin toasted marshmallow and warm praline there's just something off in it that makes me not like it and I can't I can't um I can't like determine what what exactly it is but I would not repurchase it and I get sick of it very quickly next up this is the champagne toast um room spray this is a really old packaging like really old probably at least four years old um packaging so champagne toast is good it's not my favorite in a room spray it's just like a bubbly like fruity effervescent type scent um i would repurchase champagne toast just not in a room spray um it's not my favorite in that form next up this is the warm vanilla sugar um travel size body spray yeah, so um, this, this is an okay scent. I really like warm vanilla, but I don't really think it smells that good on me. So I don't know if I would repurchase this. Sometimes I like crave it and I want it to work with my body chemistry, but it really doesn't. And at least in the spray version, it like fades away in like five minutes. So I do not think I would repurchase that. Next up, this is the Beach Night Summer Marshmallow, the travel size body lotion. This scent is delicious. Everyone knows what this smells like. Um, I prefer this one to the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I know you usually either like one or the other better. Um, I like the scent. I would repurchase it. I feel like I have a couple more of these in my collection, and most of them are getting um, old, so I just wanted to make sure I used it up. It's a good scent. I would definitely rebuy it. Next up, this is the Linen and Lavender Room Spray. Um, this is an okay scent. I think I prefer it in like a wallflower or even a candle. But somehow the room spray was just very, very strong. Like I know that all the room sprays are strong, but it would like really linger. And then I felt like I almost like lingering like too long. I don't think I would repurchase it in the room spray version. Um, but regardless, it is a nice scent. Although I can also see myself getting sick of it quickly. So I'm not sure if I would repurchase that. I would definitely not repurchase it though in the room spray. This is my last room spray. This is lavender and vanilla. It's one of my all-time favorite scents. I always try to spray it on, um, like, before I go to sleep. So, um, yeah, I would definitely rebuy this. Whenever the room sprays go on sale, I always try to stock up. This is an all-time favorite. Highly recommend it. This is Sparkling Mint Blossom Pocket Back. This is an okay scent. It's just, like, a basic, like, mint scent. Not near as strong as like Twisted Peppermint or anything like that. It was okay. I don't know if I would buy it again though. Um, probably not. Next, this is the flannel um, hand sanitizer. I'm not like a big fan of flannel or in general the masculine scents. If I had to pick though, flannel is my favorite of all the masculine scents. If that makes any, um, if that if that makes sense at all. I think I would repurchase it, but definitely not until next year. And I would just get like a one for the year and then be done. Um, this is the warm vanilla sugar hand sanitizer. This one, again, since I just said I like the scent of warm vanilla sugar, hand sanitizer is nice. That way it can, like, get my fix. But it's not like it, like, sets weird, um, with my body chemistry. So I would repurchase that one. Next up, kitten, what's going on? Next up, this is the Champagne Toast um, hand sanitizer. Champagne Toast, again, is a nice, like, fresh, bubbly, fruity scent. I would repurchase this one again. I actually got a lot of compliments when I used that one as well. Um, next up, this is Crisp Morning Air Hand Cream. This I really didn't like. I got it as, like, a free item. Um, 
just smells off. I can't really describe it. I don't, I don't really like it. I would not repurchase it. It's like a mix of like masculine and like the outdoors. Um, I'm not a fan. Next up, this is the Ogoma Therapy Comfort Vanilla Patchouli, um, the roller ball. I really like this scent. Um, I think it's like a really nice relaxing scent and I'm not a big fan of patchouli. So even if you don't like patchouli, I would still recommend trying it out. But I don't, I hate the roller balls. I really do. I feel like they like completely miss the mark on them. First of all, they leak. Um, and secondly, they, um, the scent stays on you for like five minutes. It has like terrible lasting power. And I have other roller balls too from the aromatherapy ones. At least the aromatherapy ones are not good in my opinion. And their lasting power is just awful. So overall, I would recommend the scent, but not in that form. So I would not repurchase it like that. This is the... Uh, Banana Custard Hand Cream. Again, I got this as a free item. Um, I liked this one, but it was towards the end. I was sick of it. Definitely smells like an artificial banana to me. Like, you do get a banana scent, but it's definitely very fakey. It reminds me, like, of a banana runt. Um, I think the packaging is cute, though. Um, I would not get this one again, though, even with the free item. I was definitely, like, sick of it by the time it was gone. Um, and usually I don't get sick of the hand creams because they're only one ounce, but I would not repurchase that. Next up, I have this is a vanilla buttercream. I know the packaging's like all like getting like wiped away. That's a delicious scent. It's just like a classic vanilla. Again, I got this one with a coupon too. I never really pay for the hand creams um, unless they're like on some like really good deal just because they're expensive for how much product you get. It's just like a classic good vanilla. Kind of reminds me of like cake or dessert like that. Um, I would definitely repurchase that one. Next up, Champagne Apple and Honey. This is like the little baby one ounce um, travel spray. I like this scent. It's a good scent, just like a basic fresh apple. Although usually I just buy like one for the year and then I'm like done because um, I would get sick of it if I like stocked up. But it's a nice crisp, crisp scent. I would, I would repurchase it. This is not from Bath and Body Works, but I'm just going to show it to you. This is the Mint Juleps um, Lip Scrub from Lush. I like their lip scrubs a lot. Um, they feel like they like really like get off any like dry um, dryness or anything like that. So um, I like them. They are expensive, so I don't buy them very often. But the mint juleps is one of my favorite. And if you get a chance to try it out, I would definitely recommend it. Now I just have a bunch of wallflowers, and then that will be it. This is the evergreen. Um, wallflower. I just finished this one actually. Um, it was actually really nice and strong. I had an artificial tree this year and I almost always get a real tree. So I just wanted to like make it like smell like, um, like a Christmas tree. So um, I was glad to have this one. Overall, it was like pleasantly strong, stronger than I expected since I put it in the house. Um, of course, about halfway through it like dudded out and I really couldn't smell much. So um, I'm not sure if I would buy that one again. I think so. I'm always in like a big debate of like, am I going to stop buying wallflowers? Am I not? Because I feel like they only, in my opinion, they only, most of them only work for the first half. But we'll see if I buy it next year. But it was nice and strong. Next up, this is Sensual Amber Wallflower. This one was just okay. Um, it, it was actually like it did well until the end, but... I realized that I got sick of the scent pretty early on, so I do not think I would repurchase this one. Next up, this is Twisted Peppermint. I'm not sure why, because I don't even think that this one's like super old or anything, but um, um, this one was like, you couldn't really smell anything, even like when I first plugged it in, it was really not a good wallflower. I would not repurchase that particular one. I have another Evergreen, so same thing. I put one in the bathroom, and then I had one by my tree. This is the Merry Mistletoe. This one was actually a really good one. It stayed strong um, for most of the time it was plugged in. Um, towards the very end, I feel like none of them really work. Um, but I really like the scent. This is like a really good Christmas scent. I would repurchase that one again. And then the very last item I have, this is the flannel wallflower. Again, flannel's not one of my favorite scents, but sometimes I like get in the mood for it. Um, it was okay. It, was, um, it wasn't, like, incredibly strong. And, again, I only ever plug my wallflowers into the bathroom. So if they're not that strong in the bathroom, usually it's, like, why am I going to purchase them? Um, but, of course, usually I just fall into their traps and all of their sales. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase that one, though. So thank you so much for watching. Um, yes, I hope you have a wonderful new year. Um, and it brings you a lot of awesome things. Okay.
Have a wonderful day. Bye.